Hello, I'm Emma, a boudoir photographer, published author, and self-love advocate. And today I am proudly wearing my pink hoodie and my pink shirt, double whammy. I mean, to be fair, most cases I am wearing uh, pink because I love pink, but today is pink shirt day in support of anti-bullying. And I'm going to share with you the origin story of this day, as well as my own story. And I wear this shirt with pride because um, I can relate very much to this story. And even though I didn't know this young boy, um, I was bullied too. So it always gets me in the feels. I'm going to try and compose myself as I share the story because I shared it earlier with my sister and um, yeah, that did not happen. So <laughs> we will see, shall we? Um, back in 2007, uh, a year nine boy in Nova Scotia was picked on uh, for wearing a pink shirt. Two 12, uh, year 12 boys saw this and that afternoon when they left school, they went and picked up so many pink shirts 50 plus pink shirts, bagged them all up, and the very next day, they carried them into school. And in the foyer, they handed them out to all the kids there, all the friends, the peers, they just handed out these pink shirts. And this year nine boy walked in to this sea of pink shirts. And that just gets me every time because I can, just feel that love and support. And it's just so nice to know that there are some good peeps out there, some good supportive peeps out there. Um, because I did have support and love. I just didn't have it at school. So I didn't have other kids, you know, standing by me, supporting me with the pink shirts or in my case, a rolled up skirt because I wasn't fortunate enough to have, you know, uniform that necessarily fit me or have new uniform every day. So I would do what I could to try and fit in, but at the same time, it was making me stand out. And even my friends would laugh at me. And, you know, I was picked on for being fat and skinny. I was picked on for being poor and rich. Like, it doesn't even make sense, does it? Um, I was very sensitive. These I allowed these bullies to, um, I guess, put me in the shadows and, and take away my confidence. But lucky for me, I did not. Um, I did not stay there. I did not stay quiet. I found ways to build my confidence because I realized. Well, I guess it. It all boils down to the fact that I really wanted to be a police officer and I knew that I couldn't be a police officer if I was super shy. So I did everything that I could to boost my confidence to be able to chase that dream. And it just, I got there. I became a police officer. I was able to achieve my dream and it became, I guess, contagious, like finding the next thing that was gonna boost my confidence even more. And honestly, even, um, even though my confidence was boosted um, and I got there, I wasn't a confident police officer. Um, I moved to Canada and my confidence boosted yet again. I stepped in front of the camera half naked and that was a huge impact actually. That was one of the big, biggest um, changes that I felt in myself. Um, that's essentially why I do what I do. Um, and like I said, I did not have that support in school by my peers or my friends at that time. Uh, even they sometimes forgot to meet me at lunch and you know, would um, I'd often find myself alone and sometimes lonely. But I look back now and I think, well, you know what? Maybe that is what taught me to uh, really enjoy my own company. And now I don't mind if I'm on my own. Um, so I, I'm always trying to find the positives from every situation, even though I probably maybe not necessarily could find them at that time. Having said that though, whenever I would leave school for the day and I would go back home, I left all of that crappiness and nonsense and silliness at school and I never let it affect me 
at home. Um, I never really shared what was happening with me to my sister or my mom and dad, um, but I didn't feel that I needed to because their love was enough to get me through it and help me escape um, those days and just put it behind me. So I just want to let you all know that if you are being bullied right now, or um, if you, you know, maybe lack confidence because of a situation like that, this is temporary and there is a way out. You can find ways to really boost your confidence. You do not have to stay as that shy girl or shy boy or whatever if you don't want to. You can find a way out and that is essentially my why. I really want to pay it forward and support others going through similar things or you know just um just that lack of confidence because i believe that everybody deserves to be heard uh feel wanted and be loved um and yeah I, that is um why i do these empowerment shoots this is why i created this journaling book because those tools have helped me on my confidence journey and they might be able to help you too so yeah i just um in the um you know supporting anti-bullying and in the spirits of pink shirt day i just wanted to share um uh, both of those stories um you're not alone i know bullying is so common it's too common um and we need to just band together and try and put a stop to this if we can so I would really love to hear your story, whether you have been bullied, you are being bullied, or maybe you're the uh, bully or were the bully and um, you know, you just want to share that side of things too because you know, hurt people hurt people. So we have to have a little bit of compassion for the bullies as well. So I do not hold a grunt, grudge against anybody that picked on me at school. They were obviously going through their own thing. Actually, I ended up in a, a group, um, I guess kind of like a, a reunion group and there was uh, not, I don't remember him being my bully, but there was a bully in there that owned up to it and he said that's the one thing he regrets in school and he has moved on from there and learnt from there and that just means so much to me and hopefully um that happens a lot everywhere so yeah please share your story in the comments below i would love to hear um and i would love to hear if you are still struggling or if you found a way out uh, from the struggles and how you did that uh so much love to all of you and um thank you for listening